Are you trying to make these types of transitions? Let me show you the easiest way to do this. All right, let's get started. This is a pretty easy transition if you have the right clips for it. You want to get two clips that basically have the car line up in a similar or almost identical fashion. Like right here, I have the R8 where it drifts into the side and then it switches. So what I'll do, go ahead, bring the clip so it overlaps slightly, and then I'll turn down the opacity for that. Then I'll select the bottom layer, I'll scale it up and position it. So then, once you have them essentially lined up, you can go ahead and turn the opacity back up, and we'll watch it back. So now it looks like he goes into the drift, straight into the roller. So I'll show you this again on a different type of clip. I like doing this with wheel shots. So here I have the Supra where it's panning around. Then I have this clip where it switches to the roller. So then you'll want to do the same. Go ahead and overlap it. And in this clip, we're actually going to adjust the second clip size because it's smaller. So we'll zoom in. And what I like to do with like these where they're quite a bit different, I'll actually set a keyframe for the opacity. Set it to zero. Go a couple frames up set it to 100% and then I'll also go ahead and set the scaling keyframe I'll go to oh, the halfway point and I'll just go ahead and zoom out so then it'll look like this and if you want them you can have it overlap a little more and we'll move out that opacity we'll also start the scaling to change also so now have a little bit more transition time where it fades to it. And there it is. If that helped you, make sure you leave a like and subscribe.